Following the debate last night, I would say that the number one topic that has come up in various threads that I've encountered has been the claim that President Trump refused to condemn white supremacy during the debate. And these are a few of the reasons why that is the most insincere and ridiculous claim that could be made, uh, one which could only believe, be believed by people who are blind brainwashed sheep of the Democrat propaganda machine, also known as the mainstream media. Number one, when he was asked whether he would condemn white supremacists, you can look it up easily on the internet yourself, find the transcript of the debate. He immediately responded, sure, I will do that. And when he wanted to continue to say that uh, despite Chris Wallace is bringing up white supremacy as an issue when he wanted to continue to say that, however, there, the majority of the violence is coming from Antifa and BLM, pseudo Black Lives Matter. Um, then uh, my, uh, Chris Wallace interjected again and again. He said, sure. But having already said sure, he wasn't quite sure what, Mike, what Chris Wallace wanted him to say. So he wanted to know a specific name, like, what organization do you want me to condemn? And then uh, Chris Wallace said white supremacists, um, and then Joe Biden interjected Proud Boys, and President Trump said that the Proud Boys should stand by. Um, however, Joe Biden is misleading because Proud Boys are not a white supremacist organization. There are black members and Hispanic, Hispanic members of the organization. It's simply a more conservative and patriotic organization. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, it's not even specifically American. Uh, however, um, in the eyes of the radical left, anyone who is not on the radical left is automatically a racist. So go figure. Um, but more to the point, uh, the ridiculousness of the entire effort to smear the president as a racist, despite his numerous times of explicitly um, condemning white supremacists, including even in this debate when he said sure and wanted a name, and he still wasn't given a name of a specific group, because there are not that many. Uh, another reason why it's so ridiculous is because just five days ago, President Trump laid out his plan, uh, a black empowerment initiative, which includes legally categorizing the KKK as a terrorist organization. Why didn't Trump, why didn't Biden do that all during his years or even make it an initiative? Jim Crow Joe Biden, the one who attends funerals of KKK members. There are numerous cases documented where the president has explicitly condemned White supremacy. Don't believe me? Go to factchecker.org. You can look it up. Specific dates, specific transcripts. It cannot be any clearer. One of the more uh, publicized times when he explicitly and by name publicly condemned the KKK, uh, neo-Nazis, and white supremacists in general was after the Charlottesville issue. If you didn't see that, it's because you were only looking at extremely biased media outlets. Do a specific search, you will find it. Or just simply go to factchecker.org. Um, what I would like to see, instead of the racist assumption that any white non-leftist is a racist, judging them by the pigmentation in their skin, the level of pigmentation in their skin, Rather than seeing that continual racist bigotry, a more reasonable demand would be for the radical leftists, which have taken over the Democrat Party, to condemn anti-Jewish acts of hatred and anti-white acts of hatred. Because as Joe Biden uh, correctly, though deceptively, stated during that segment of the debate that the uh, head of the FBI has said that white supremacy is the greatest, um, const white supremacists constitute the greatest 
perpetrators of, of domestic terrorism. Um, and that is true. However, he left out that the report stated that this has been the greatest uh, cause, underlying ideological cause of, of domestic terrorism in the last few decades. But the same report goes on to, to say that in the last few years, it has been anarchists and, and political ideologues that are doing most of the domestic terrorism. Conveniently left that out, that the last few years it hasn't been white supremacists that are leading um, cases of domestic terrorism. And he also conveniently left out that the greatest number of victims, the highest percentage of the targets of these white supremacists, have not been black people. They have been Jews. Jews. It's on the FBI website. How convenient to leave that out. Obviously, he wasn't so happy about the peace agreements, Joe Biden. Not so happy about the peace agreements in the Middle East. Not so happy uh, about being tough on terrorists who target Jewish children to butcher them. We're not talking about collateral damage when a group of people are intentionally huddling around a known target which had been forewarned would be busted is is what is is the israeli army does warns them in advance the overwhelming majority of cases lets them know to clear an area before they bomb it no 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 islamic terrorists will blow up buses go on stabbing rampages without any forewarning and indiscriminately targeting men women and little children yes mainstream media joe biden and the rest of your fascist, bigoted party. When are you going to condemn all forms of white supremacist acts of terrorism against Jews, Islamo-fascist acts of terrorism against Jews, and acts of terrorism against white people and conservatives? Conservatives who are the greater minority in the majority of these cities? When are you going to condemn racism and bigotry across the board, and not just when it appeals to a certain constituency that you would like to be your little shields? They have woken up.